Is it time to create something different with your life and your body? Right Body for You will inspire you and invite you to a different way of creating the body and the life you truly desire. Ready? Let's go. Here's your host, Danielle. And welcome to Right Body for You. I love that. It's like, ready? Let's go. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. And, you know, how many of us are doing that at the beginning of this year? Ready? Let's go. Okay. Yay. And how many of us are actually actually excited or how many of us are going through the motions? And, you know, that's some of what we're going to touch on today. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Danielle. I am, gosh, I don't know what I am. I am lots of things. I do lots of things. I'm an active consciousness facilitator. I'm a right body for you facilitator as well as the coordinator for right body for you and the access consciousness facelift. Plus I do radio shows. Plus I do private sessions. Plus I get to facilitate right body for you workshops all over the world. Um, which what is right body for you besides the radio show you're listening to hint, hint, just so you know where you are. Um, Right Body For You is also a book. Uh, It's an amazing book that I got to contribute to, um, and then the rest was written by Access Consciousness founder Gary Douglas. And what it is is it's – all right, Access Consciousness is a practical set of tools and techniques that really help you change any area of your life, period. You know, I used to say any area of your life that you're not happy with, but you know what? You can change things you're happy with, too, because guess what? Being happy with something isn't the end, isn't the final result. It can actually get better. So whether you're happy with your life or you're not happy with your life, there are tools to help you change it, grow it, enhance it, exponentialize it, make it freaking fantastic. Uh, so there is there is beyond happy and right body for you is actually the body part of access consciousness. Um, it is the tools of access consciousness used for the body. And you know it was interesting when I first started working with access consciousness and right body for you. Well, truthfully, I just started taking the classes. Um, you know, I just, I got back from a choice of possibilities class last night in the class was in Houston. I got home last night and, you know, somebody stood up and said, well, how do I, how do I start working with access? What's required? Who do I submit an, a resume to an application to? And Dr. Dane here, who is the co-creator of access consciousness said, you know, truthfully, everybody who works with access, con- access consciousness, kind of just fell into it. And that is so true. You know, when people ask me, well, how did you start working with Access and Right Body for You? I'm like, I I, I don't know. It just kind of grew organically. And here eight years later, but for me, it began with taking the courses. You know, I, I, I wanted to change my life and I ended up changing my body and ended up changing my life and ended up changing my body and my life and my body and my money and my relationships and my body and my life and everything else in between. And so I looked at that and went, you know what? Some, If there was someone like me out there in the world who is looking for something, asking for something, demanding something, and if I can contribute that, I'm going to do it because I had such an excitement and a joy of change of possibility and happiness showing up in my body and my life that I'm like, I I will do this. You know, I was originally a broadcast production person. uh, That's what my university degree is in. I was marketing promotions manager for a TV station for a number of years. And then I I would have never uh, anticipated traveling the world, facilitating these Right Body For You workshops and doing these private sessions about energy work. What energy work? Are you talking about the energy, like when I plug the camera and the lights into the wall and then you get, you know, the video records and then the energy turns into the lights and so you can see what you're recording, that kind of energy? You know, I I would have never anticipated that I would do a radio show about this. And, you know, and I, I love it every day. And I just, it's, 
it's fun to see people change. It's fun to um, change myself because, you know, that's what Right Buddy for You is about. It's about the creation of your life with the contribution of your body. You know, so many people think, people think, oh, we're right buddy for you. You have to have a problem. You have to have something wrong with your body to be able to use these tools. Not at all. Right buddy for you doesn't include the healing or changing of your body. Absolutely. And you don't have to have a problem to use the tools. All you have to do is say, you know what, I want more. And your body can actually contribute to whatever that more is. So it's pretty freaking exciting about that. And so some of that more is what we're actually talking about today. Oh, and if you want to know more, you can always go <laughs> more. You like that? If you want to know more about Right Body for You or me, Danielle, um, the host and the voice that you're listening to right now, you can go to Danielle.com, D-O-N-N-I-E-L-L-E.com. Uh, you can find out upcoming classes like the Shattering the Light Body Image, upcoming Right Body View workshops. If you want to uh, do a private session with me, that's a good place to go to as well to start the process of finding a time that works for both of us. Um, so check it out, Danielle.com. There's a lot of free stuff, videos and audios and stuff on there too. Okay. So today we're talking about beginning from failing. And, oh, excuse me, my body, my body was trying to sneeze and it didn't quite work. Um, beginning from failing, <laughs> then I just failed to sneeze. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Well, I didn't, but didn't, and it's not a failure. So, <laughs> by the way, I should have warned you seven minutes ago. Welcome to a different kind of radio show with a different kind of host. One thing that has really shifted and changed for me with using the access consciousness tools and right body for you tools in my own life is my sense of humor has come out a lot more and I don't take things as serious. And the great thing is the about for me taking things not as serious as I'm able to change things more. Uh, so, and faster. Anybody else interested in faster? Cool. Uh, so welcome to a different type of radio show with a different kind of host. Okay, so today we're talking about um, beginning from failing. Okay, um, yes, I put in their 2017 goals because welcome to 2017. I can't remember if this is the first, second, third um, Wednesday of the month. I don't know. But I know it's still January because I looked on the state and it said me, it said it's January. Um, and this tends to be the time of year where people start failing, right? We have our resolutions. We have our goals. We have our targets. And, you know, and I've, I've done a couple of shows about goals and targets. Um, you can check them out in the archives. Um, so please do check that out. Uh, and then today we're talking about that moment where people go, oh, I've been trying so hard. It's been a couple of weeks and it's just no fun. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I quit. Or you're beginning to lag. You know, the excitement you might have had is beginning to wane. And now the change that you've been asking for feels like, job and you just don't want to do it anymore and you know and it's interesting about this type of year time of year because I've actually talked with a lot of people today and everybody's like I'm tired I just want to go back to bed what the freak is going on and so what's interesting is the just like at the beginning of the year when everybody's like we're going to do these goals we're going to change everything in our lives well it almost seems to be a universal at the same time oh my gosh it's dragon this is no fun anymore can we change no i just i quit i fail i don't want to do it anymore well my question to you is did you ever want to do it Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, beginning from failing. See, this is actually one of my favorite times of year for people. Because while they were looking at the, it, it's almost the, um, 
oh gosh, what do you call it? The frenzy at the beginning of the year. You know, it's the frenzy of, oh my gosh, everybody's doing it now. I'm going to do it now and I'm going to do this and I'm going to succeed and then everything's going to change and I'm going to finally do what I've been asking to do or wanting to do and my body's going to change, my life's going to change, my finances are going to change and everything and now is the time because everybody's doing it so why not do it now? Right? And, I mean, don't get me wrong. I did a radio show probably sometime in the past two years talking about riding that wave, riding the energetic wave, like, you know, helping you know helping yourself through other people's what's going on energetically for them as well um but then what's interesting is it also gets to that moment now of how many people are like oh my gosh this sucks i don't want to do this anymore this isn't fun and so it's like writing people's energetic wave is great and you really need to be able to create your life with what you desire and get the clarity on it and ride your own energetic wave because at the end of the day, that's where it is, okay? And so with this, it's that moment of what do we do now? We're at that pendulum moment of failure, success, change, not change, things going back the way they were, right? Right? How are you doing on your New Year's resolutions? Are you speeding up? Are you slowing down? Well, I have a question for you. What if failing to keep your resolutions is one of the greatest steps in actually creating the body and the life that you desire? Okay? I know people in this reality go, failing, that's a bad thing. Not necessarily always is, okay? For me, some of the best things I've done in my life was fail. I know, that sounds weird. No, I'm not delusional. No, I don't need to take medication. (laughs) No, I'm not a masochist. I don't like pain and suffering and depressive. It's like, oh, I failed, so I'm happy, you know? No, I, 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 I am not that. But I do recognize that sometimes what the gift that failing is. You know, to borrow a question from Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness, what's right about this you're not getting. You know, and I would change it a little bit to say, what's right about failing that you're not getting? And honestly, what is failing? Okay? What if failing isn't a bad thing? I looked it up. And of failing is, by definition, probably something we don't necessarily want to aspire to, right? Um, it's not, you know, I looked it up, the original, remember, you always want to look up the original definition of a word. Um, words have an energy behind them. And so when we were originally, and energy is the original language. So when we were originally putting uh, words to energies, that's when they matched. And then in 1949, in some of the dictionaries and the way we use words, things were changed, but the energy behind them does not change. So you want to look at the original definitions of words, not necessarily how we use them, okay? You know, like uh, one fun example is the word gay. You know, right now it means... Um, somebody who likes a member of the same sex. Well, it also used to be somebody's name. You know, I know somebody named Gay, and then it also used to just mean happy. So it's like these things evolve, but the energy behind them does not, okay? And so what I encourage you to do is look at the original definition of words. So you look up at the original definition of the word fail, and it does mean that don't, you know, we didn't succeed at the target, at the goal, or whatever it is, turns out different, and blah, 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 blah. So great. Well, what if it's not a failure, okay? What if it's not about using a different word? Because, you know, for me, a lot of times I'm like, well, let's use a different word and see if we can shift and change the energy. Absolutely. But what if we're using the wrong word to describe something? What if we are calling a failure at this time isn't actually a failure? What if it's actually a gift? What if it's actually 
um, the, the step in success? What if the stopping of a resolution or a goal is actually the next step to success, not the failure that this society in reality says that it is? Okay. We're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, we're going to get into the, I'm going to say that again in English, <laughs> and we're going to get a little bit more into this time of year. What if it's not a failure? What if it's a gift? Okay. This is Danielle. You're listening to Right Body for You. We are on the brand spanking bright, shiny new network of Inspired Choices Network, and we'll be right back. The life and the body you secretly hope for is possible. Somewhere you know that, right? What if creating that body and life is not about deprivation and sacrifice? Would you be willing to choose it? What if it could be as simple as changing how you look at things? Right Body for You with Danielle is a different kind of radio show. Each week, Danielle invites you to you. She shares simple tools that you can use immediately to create changes in your body and your life. Something different begins now. Listen for Right Body for You every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. What would you say if I told you that you could change your life in only one hour and all while lying down relaxing? Thousands of people all over the world have. What am I talking about? It's called Access Consciousness The Bars. The Bars is an energetic body process that contains 32 different points on your head that when run assist you in releasing decisions about any area of your life that you have made solid and as a result cannot change. The Bars is the first class in Access Consciousness a dynamic set of tools and information designed to transform any area of your life. When you have a bar session, the worst that can happen is you feel like you had a fantastic massage. The best thing that can happen is your whole life could change. Go to accessconsciousness.com today to find a facilitator to schedule a private session or to find a bars class in your area. Are you willing to give yourself an hour to change your life? This is Right Body for You with Danielle. To participate in the program today, please call toll-free in the U.S. 815-880-8255 or Canada 613-800-8736 or you can Skype us at Inspire Choices Network. If you'd like to email a question, please send it to danielle at accessconsciousness.com. Now, back to the program. Right Body for You. I am your host, Danielle. Uh, welcome to the show today. Today we're talking about um, failing, or sorry, beginning from failing. What if the what you call failing right now with your goals, your targets, your um, resolutions isn't necessarily a bad thing, okay? And, you know, pause for a brief squirrel of a moment. You know, before the break, we were talking about the original definitions of words, and I used the phrase, the word gay, as an example of how it, it shifted and changed, and we use it as slang and different things. And so during the break, I went, you know what, I never actually looked up the original definition of the word gay. So during the break, humanoid that I am and multitasking, I decided to look up the word. So here's interesting. So the word origin for gay is full of joy, merry, lighthearted, carefree. Also, wanton, lewd, <laughs> which <laughs> we like that, right? How much fun could that be? Um, but also joyful, happy, pleasant, agreeably charming, forward, and pert. Um, the thing that's really I found interesting is the slang meaning for homosexual begins the gay being a slang meaning for homosexual begins to appear in psychological writing in the late 1940s. And I find this interesting uh, because, you know, Gary Douglas talks about how de definitions of words were changed in dictionaries in 1949. And within, so I'm bringing this up because I've seen this 1940s, 1940s, 1940s in a lot of things. Um, you know, that the definitions were changed and now this, that, you know, gay went from merriment, joy, and happy to being a meaning a homosexual, somebody who likes a member of the same sex in the 1940s. 
And this really sticks out because another time I read this was the, when I looked at the phrase body image. Okay, body image as we use it now was a marketing term created in the 1940s um, by a marketing company trying to sell ads, trying to sell things. So they created this body image, which is basically a false persona that we are trying to fit ourselves in. Image, by definition of the word, is a persona or a um, something that looks like a person, a statue, an artwork, something like that. And so really this explains why, you know, I did a pop-up call earlier in 2016 called Shattering the Lie of Body Image. We had 100 people on it, and it freaking rocked. It was a 90-minute call, and we had uh, – we just barely scratched the surface of what going on. It was intense. We were discovering a lot about how we were using body image – to stop us you know today we're talking about those goals resolutions and we're how many of us are using uh body image to fail at it um and so from this the four-week teleseries shattering the lie of body image the series it's a four-part series coming up february 8th i think um go to donnell.com and find out the the um actual date and it's a four-part series, and I'm really excited about it because, like I said, in the pop-up call, we just barely scratched the surface. And so I'm really excited to see what the cell series brings out. And there's no prereqs. As a matter of fact, um, if you weren't on the original pop-up call and you sign up and pay for this cell series, you get that original pop-up call as a gift. Um, and then if you were on the original pop-up call, like I said, over 100 people were, um, I actually give you a discount as a thank you and gratitude for contributing to the energy and creation that this is. So check it out, Donnell.com, and you can find out all about that. So if you weren't on it before, you'll get it. And if you were on it before, you'll get a discount as my way of saying thank you and gratitude. So it was just interesting that I get this this hit to look up gay. And it's again, it's a 1940s thing. Um, someday it might be really interesting to find out what's going on with the uh, – 1940s, what was going on that so much of that changed? Oh, thank you, Christina. The chat room told me that February 8th is the beginning of that Shattering the Life Body Image. So, Danielle.com, D-O-N-N-I-E-L-L-E. One more time, D-O-N-N-I-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E, a bit slower for you guys. Dot com. Check it out. Um, then you can find out more about that. Okay. So, be what if you could begin from what people call failure? Okay. So as, as I'm sure you're discovering just in this show, I'm really big on looking at the energy behind the words. Uh, and oftentimes I'm like, instead of resolution and goal, use the word target and things like that. Absolutely. Sometimes it's about changing the word, but sometimes it's also about changing how you're looking at it. Okay. What if when you quote unquote fail at a resolution right now, it's not because you were weak-willed. It's not because you didn't have the right tools. It's not because fill in the blank of however you'd like to judge yourself about this. What if it's not a failure at all? What if it's not about using the wrong word? What if it's just about not recognizing it for what it actually is? Okay. I know this one well. For me, once I started failing at this reality is truly when my life started beginning. Okay, it was really interesting. You know, this is more than just the phoenix rising from the ashes, which don't get me wrong, I love that. I love the phoenix rising from the ashes. You know, sometimes life can crumble and be crap, and then you find this inner strength and you you come on and you rise up and you 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 create a magnificent, amazing life. Yes, and what if this quote unquote fail you're doing right now is not that crumbling of your life? What if it's not something you have to overcome? So here's the thing I really want you, one of the things, one of the things I really want you guys to look at right now during this time when it's like the resolutions start dropping off or the goals start dropping off or it's like, oh my gosh, I'm such a failure. Um, what if that's not what's going on at all? Um, what if it's at this time you're starting to get clarity of what you actually desire. So your life isn't crumbling apart, 
What if it's actually coming together, okay? So let me talk about this a little bit with uh, personal experience. Um, before I started using the tools of access consciousness, that's when I really, I was trying to do this life in this reality, right? You know, I had the job. Um, I didn't have the husband. I was just utterly failing at that aspect of it. Um, I didn't have the husband and things like that, but I did, um, gosh, I did have the, I had the good job. I was a marketing promotions manager for a TV station. Um, I was intelligent. I failed at the body, having the specific type of body. Um, I was doing okay with money. I wasn't like, you know, Rockefeller, but I was, I was doing okay. And what's interesting is I quit all that to go help my mom take care of her parents during, you know, the last few years of their lives. And then this reality says, all right, so you took care of the grandparents, you're done, now go back to work. You know, that's what this reality said. And I I got frustrated and I kind of said, screw it. I'm doing what I want to do. And But it wasn't from like, I'm doing what I want to do, yay. It was literally from that screw it resistance point. I'm like, I am not going back to TV. Screw this reality where I said that I have to use my degree and I'm just not doing it. So I really began failing. Um, I was in my mid-30s, I guess. Yeah, I was in my mid-30s. I was jobless, back living at home. Um, and it was with my, you know, with my mom. And I was failing massively at this reality. I was. I was failing. But what I didn't be, know then, and I am now becoming aware of, is what I was doing was actually something called following the energy and getting clarity about what it was that my life required, what I could be. Uh, I, I, If I had gone back to TV, I think it might have actually killed me. I, you know, I had that moment of, you know, because the, the, the corporation that I worked for told me, it's like, oh, if, Whenever you want to come back, you let us know. We'll find you a position. So I knew I had that door open to me, and I, I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. Every time I thought about it, I started feeling nauseous. I started feeling sick. I kind of wanted to cry, and I, my limbs felt heavy. Anybody ever have any of that? How many of you are thinking about resolutions or that next meal if you're trying to eat better or the next working out um, or that next – I have to save this or do this. How many of you are, you know, are like, I will write the book this year, and then you're dreading sitting down writing a chapter? And it's not like the distracted, but just literally like, oh, <laughs> I don't want to do it. I just, oh. Well, maybe there's something to that heaviness. Maybe there's something to that nausea, that lethargy, that 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 limbs are heavy or however it's showing up for you. What if it's not because you're weak? Let me dispel that notion right now. You're not weak. You're not weak-willed. You have the ability to do and create anything as long as it's what you desire. There is one of the keys, okay? When I look back upon this with uh, going back to TV, I felt sick. I felt nauseous. I felt heavy. I just kind of wanted to cry. But this is what I'm supposed to do because it's my degree and I just have to do it. And I literally, my body was like nauseous and just physically reacting. And I just, I look back now and I go, oh, that was my body giving me an awareness of the energy of what was required. Going back to TV would not have created my life. Oddly enough, staying at my mom's house and my grandparents' house and um, going that direction is actually what created my life, led me here to this moment where I am talking to you, okay? And it actually began from that failure to go back and fit into the box that I had previously created for myself, okay? 
So we're going to take our next little break. Oh, during the break, please look at this. Please look at the energy you're fe- being right now with no judgment, with no point of view. What if the nausea, the heaviness, the hesitancy that you're feeling right now isn't about weak, isn't about you don't have enough gumption, you don't have enough strength? What if it's not that? What if it's quite the opposite? What if it's, it is you receiving information from the universe yourself? from your body about what direction is required to go. Okay, we're going to take a quick little break, and I want you to ponder that, look at that, just for the, you know, like two minutes or whatever it is, we're gone, okay? So this is Danielle. This is Right Body for You. We are on Inspired Choices Network, and you know what? We'll be right back. The life and the body you secretly hope for is possible. Somewhere you know that, right? What if creating that body and life is not about deprivation and sacrifice? Would you be willing to choose it? What if it could be as simple as changing how you look at things? Right Body for You with Danielle is a different kind of radio show. Each week, Danielle invites you to you. She shares simple tools that you can use immediately to create changes in your body and your life. Something different begins now. Listen for Right Body for You every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspireChoicesNetwork.com. What if you really do change molecules by your interaction with them? What if the change you've been looking for is right before your eyes? What if the uncomfortableness that comes with difference could be fun? What if the closed-minded people of the world no longer determined our world? What if gratitude trumps judgment every time? What if your kindness healed the world? What if the earth is asking for your help? And what if you had the resources to give it? This is your invitation to step into something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Picasso, Da Vinci, Shakespeare, Aristotle all knew to be true. Hi, my name is Dane here. Thirteen years ago I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything changed for me. What if there are no dumb questions? Or any question too large? What if you being you are the gift and the change this world requires? Is now the time? For more questions to create a change in your world, sign up for a free video series at beingyouclass.com. My gift to you, beingyouclass.com. This is Right Body for You with Danielle. To participate in the program today, please call toll-free in the U.S. 815-880-8255 or Canada 613-800-8736 or you can Skype us at Inspire Choices Network. If you'd like to email a question, please send it to Danielle at accessconsciousness.com. Now, back to the program. And welcome back to Right Body for You. I am your host, Danielle. Thank you for joining me and us and all of us today. I am so grateful, any of you who, who listen and participate and send me questions and and feedback, I'm always so grateful to hear from you. So thank you for that. You can go to Danielle.com and leave me a message, or you can email me at Danielle at accessconsciousness.com. My only request is when you email me or look up my website, Two N's, two L's, because you know what? It'll get you there faster. Um, my name is D-O-N-N-I-E-L-L-E. Um, so check it out, Donnell.com or Donnell at accessconsciousness.com for questions, comments, feedback, anything like that. Okay. Today we're talking about beginning from failing. Okay. Because how many uh, how many of us also at this time when it's like the resolutions are waning they, and we just stop? Ugh. I don't want to do this anymore. Done. So you stop. What if this is the time to ask a question? What if this is the time to go, okay, what's really going on here? You know, during the break, I gave you guys, I I requested that you guys start to look at that energy that is like brewing right now. And is it a uh, falling apart thing? Is it a uh, place where it's, everything's stopping? Are you feeling that nauseous? Are you feeling that hesitancy because you're weak? Or because it's something you don't actually desire or require to do, okay? What's right about 
failing, and I'm quoting that, are you not getting, okay? For, I'll tell you, the only things I have ever, ever failed at, if I'm being honest, if I'm being vulnerable and look at things, whether it's a relationship, even if he broke up with me, whether it's a job, whether I left it or it left me, um, however that shows up, the only things I've ever, quote, unquote, lost is something I didn't want to do, okay? You know, and I was talking about that time in my life where it was like go back to uh, TV or do I do something else, blah, 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 and I moved in with my mom and I, you know, took over my grandparents' house and kind of did the home thing in my mid-30s. I didn't want to go back to TV. It, it wasn't something that was creating a happy future for me or the world. I can look at that now. Then I didn't get that. All I could see is the black and white, these are my skills, this is where I can use my skills, why am I not going back there, I must be stupid, I must be weak, I just, you know, whatever judgments I was pulling up. But if, at the core, honestly, I didn't want to do it anymore. It wasn't making me happy, okay? And like, you know, I, I, uh, I used to do a bunch of video editing for Access Consciousness. And I I got tired of editing video when I worked in TV. And so at first, you know, the first couple years of editing video for Access, it was great. It was fun. It was easy. Woohoo! Which is usually a sign that things are going great. But then it started getting to be a job, a chore. But I didn't stop and ask questions. I just started dreading it. Anybody else do that with resolutions or other things in their lives? It's like, it was fun yesterday. Now I'm just dreading it. Now it's a chore. But we go, oh, no, I've. I, I have to do this because blah, 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 blah. For me, it was, I have to do this because this is the way I'm working for Access. This is what I can contribute. Um, this is my skill set, things like that. You know, those, those were my fill in the blanks, so, so whatever yours are. And so I was supposed to create this promo for a Access Consciousness Choice of Possibilities class, which, you know, a number of years ago, it used to be called Level 2 3. So I was supposed to be doing this promo for it. I was over two months late with it. Hello? Over two months late. Are you kidding me? That's pretty insane. And so I started, you know, I didn't even really look at that. Uh, Simone Millicis, who's a worldwide coordinator of Access, who does joy business, she's amazing. We really need to have her on sometime. You know, she looked at it and she's like, honey, do you desire to do this? And I was like, of course I do. Notice I didn't ask a question. I'm just like, of course I do. I told you I'd do it. Well, I, I, I finished it finally, barely. And then they just kind of stopped asking me to do videos, which was good because I didn't want to do them anyways. And then, but what was interesting is I had a, co- I had a conversation with Simone about that. And I was like, yeah, I don't actually desire to do them anymore. She's like, great. That's all the information I need. See, I was afraid they would judge me or something because I didn't want to do them anymore when actually they were just like, great. What else do you want to do? I'm like, oh, I could do something else? Wow, that's kind of amazing. That would be cool. You mean I'm not just my video editing uh, abilities? Okay. So at this time when we have these resolution things coming up, um, when you, if you're hesitating to do it, did you ever want to do it? Because like I said, I've never failed at anything. And even though I've met some of you, some of, I, some of you I haven't, I guarantee if you're honest and vulnerable with yourself, you haven't failed at anything you actually desired to do. Because when you desire to do them, you have this energy, this excitement that moves it forward, that drives it, that contributes it, that creates it. If you're not having that energy, ask a different question. See what else is possible. See what else is going on. Okay? Um, you know, how many of you jumped on the bandwagon of, it's that time of year, the beginning of the year, I have to do resolutions. Well, what if you don't want to do it right now? What if it's you don't have the information? What if it's, you know what, I'm kind of happy with my body the way it is. I'm kind of happy with my finances the way it is. And you know what, I don't actually have the time to start my book right now. I don't have the time to put or I don't have the ability to put savings away right now. I'm going to do it in two months. Oh, my gosh, two months feels so much lighter. It's not a failing because you didn't start now. It's actually a strength. Okay. People think like, oh, if you didn't start now, or if you did start and you're failing, you're weak. Wrong. 
sometimes failing is the greatest strength you have, especially if you follow it with a question of, okay, so what do I actually desire? So this is the time I ask you to, I'm asking you to ask questions of truth, these goals, these targets, these resolutions. Do you want to do them right now? Do you want to do them at all? Or do you want to do them in the way that you are currently doing them? You know, things shift and change. So, yes, it could have been the first two weeks going, yay, this is exciting. Every day I wake up and it's exactly like I want to do it. I'm writing my book every morning. I'm I'm exercising every day or, you know, I'm like jogging every day. I'm eating this way every day. I'm not smoking today or, you know, whatever it is your goal is. And then all of a sudden it starts dragging. Now you have choice. Continue the way it is, tough it out, or ask a question. Okay, so I've enjoyed jogging for the past two weeks. Body, do you desire to still jog, or would you like to move in a different way? You know, uh, body, would, you know, we've eaten this way in the past two weeks. Do you still desire to eat that way? Because trust me, changing the flavor of things for your body, whether it be the type of movement or the type of food, is sometimes one of the greatest gifts you can give your body. Okay, let me say that again. Sometimes changing flavor for your body, whether it's a type of movement or a food or changing flavor for your life, really, let's expand that, is one of the greatest gifts you can do. So at this time of quote-unquote failure, what if it's not a failure? It's just a change. If you ask the questions like, yes, I really desire to do this. Yes, now is the time. Cool. Just because you want to do it the same way the past two weeks doesn't mean you, your life, or your body desire to do it this way now. So start asking those questions of what else would it be? And who am I doing this for? This is a big one, you guys. Who or what are you doing this for now? So many of us, like I said, we start at the beginning of the year because Look at the ads. It's almost a universal thought right now. Uh, it's the beginning of the year. Must change my finances. Must change my life. Must change my relationship. Must change my body. Must change my fill in the blank, whatever it is going on. So who or what are you doing this for? Are you doing it for you? Are you doing it for fitting into this reality? Are you doing it for your body? Are you doing it for your family? Are you doing it because it's the thing to do? Who or what are you actually doing this? four. Okay. We're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, we're going to uh, look beyond even this moment in time. And it's like, okay, so I get this. It may be not what I desire, but what do I do with this? Well, stick around and you know what? We're going to go over that when we come back. This is Danielle. This is Right Body for You. We're on Inspired Choices Network and we'll be right back. The life and the body you secretly hope for is possible. Somewhere you know that, right? What if creating that body and life is not about deprivation and sacrifice? Would you be willing to choose it? What if it could be as simple as changing how you look at things? Right Body for You with Danielle is a different kind of radio show. Each week, Danielle invites you to you. She shares simple tools that you can use immediately to create changes in your body and your life. Something different begins now. Listen for Right Body for You every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Check out the new ringtones from Access Consciousness. What is it possible? What is it possible? Smoking hot. Smoking hot. <laughs> And everyone's favorite. Take a pass. Take a pass. Download the latest and hottest accessory. Go to accessconsciousness.com forward slash ringtones for all the details on how to download to your iPhone today. This is Right Body for You with Danielle. To participate in the program today, please call toll free in the U.S. 815-880-8255. 
or Canada, 613-800-8736. Or you can Skype us at Inspire Choices Network. If you'd like to email a question, please send it to Danielle at accessconsciousness.com. Now, back to the program. And welcome back to Right Body for You. I am your host, Danielle. Today we're talking about beginning from failing. You know, so often we we go, oh, I did this resolution and I'm failing, so stop. Or I did this type of activity for this long and then I don't want to do it anymore, so stop. You know, whatever it is. Well, what if it's not stop? What if it's that time where you go, all right, what else? Let's go. Now is when creation actually begins. How many of us do the first part of the year from, I'm supposed to, so I'm doing it. See, watch me, watch me, watch me. See, even if it's just you watching you, right? We are, we are. Sometimes we can be our own jailers. Okay, so what if this moment of, I'm failing, is actually the moment of, now let's begin. You know, let's begin, let's actually create. So, you know, I've been asking you to ask a lot of questions of, is it you desiring to do this now? Um, recognize the energy of if you don't want to do it, it doesn't mean that you're weak. It just means you actually have an awareness of what's going on. Okay? So how can we use this in the future as well? Glad you asked. Um you know, how I was talking about that video editing I was doing for Access Consciousness and how I had received the energy, but I didn't acknowledge the energy of I didn't want to do it anymore. Even though it took me over two months to do a simple two-minute video, I just didn't do it, put it off, made excuse, blah, 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 blah. And I never got it done, never got it done, never got it done. Well, sometimes I... uh for lack of a better phrase, they learn from my mistakes <laughs> or learn or, you know, actually remember something. And so what was interesting is a few years later, because so um, Access also has this thing called hosting. And I had been hosting classes for Gary and Dane in Houston for five years. And so what was interesting is I started getting this energy up of, that same thing of it being a chore instead of fun and light and happy. It was a chore. It was a struggle. It was like I forced myself to sit down and do the things that we're hosting. And I went, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I recognize this energy. I know what this energy is. This was the energy of even though this is great, even though this is creating uh, consciousness in the world, it's no longer fun for me. Because we always think that that moment – of no, we no longer have to do it means it's something bad. What if it's just an awareness of what else is required for the future? And so what I thought, and so what I did is I had a conversation with Simone and Jonas, who are the um, hosting coordinators, and I went, you know what? I don't think I want to host anymore, and I don't want to do a bad job. So let's call this my last time hosting. And they're like, cool, thank you so much for the honesty and vulnerability and great, no problem. And, you know, and I still uh, contribute in things and I still do in different ways to the hosting things. But I, I am no longer that main host, which is really neat because how many of us in that moment of I don't want to do this anymore, destroy it as an excuse to stop. What if you don't even have to get to that point of fail to be able to recognize the energy of it's time to shift and change something no matter what it is. Okay, let me say that again. How many of us actually destroy something as an excuse, the reason and justification to not do it anymore? Okay, that was me with like editing. I destroyed it. I didn't do it. I did a bad job. I mean, literally two months late, that's a bad job. Let's be honest, right? And so I did a bad job, I failed, I whatever you want to call it, as a way of acknowledging that I didn't want to do it anymore. And so when that energy came up again with the hosting, I was able to go, oh, I know what this is. So I told the coordinators, I don't want to do a bad job, so let me stop. And they're like, cool, thank you. And you know what? It set me free. It set Houston free. 
the new lady who's doing the hosting is amazing. She's having a great time with it. So it revitalized everything. My willingness to be vulnerable like that and go, you know what, this is great and it's just no longer what my future is asking for anymore, okay? So, so look at that with these goals, with these targets. Begin from that moment of failure. Are you really failing or are you just really getting to acknowledge the energy of what's required for your life? And it doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. It doesn't mean that you're weak. It doesn't mean anything other than the energy has shifted and changed. Do you truly want to do it right now? Do you truly desire to do it as it is? Um, do you, you know, you may have been doing it great for five years or two weeks. What would you like to create now? Trust me, adding this new flavor to your life, to your body, to your everything can actually help you create more, okay? And it will help you keep out of that place where we have to destroy it to reason and justify for it gonna, that it, it, it can change. You know, this reality says, if it ain't wrong, don't break it, you know, or sorry, if it ain't wrong, don't fix it. There we go. If it ain't wrong, don't fix it, so therefore you have to break it, blah, blah, blah. That's, you know, I add that on to it. And so with that, if we do that, uh, we break it to justify leaving it. Because on the surface, it's like, why on earth would I have stopped hosting Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane here classes? It's a fantastic thing. I get the class. I get to interact with Gary and Dane. I, I'm i on the radar of a bunch of things. I get paid. I have a good time. I'm facilitating consciousness in the world by uh, assisting these classes coming to fruition. Why on earth would I change it? Because it was just time. It doesn't even have to have an excuse behind it, that we think we have to have these excuses. And so often we make the excuse of we destroy it. We destroy it to have the excuse to change it. Instead, just please be vulnerable. Recognize the energy. Look at it and go, you know what? This is no longer creating my future. It's no longer creating the future. And not as in creating it is the opposite of destroying it. Because again, that's where we have to destroy it to reason justify things. Just like, oh, you know what? The energy shift didn't change. Let's try this. And, you know, and I still ask myself, again, those things are never uh, a complete stop. I'm like, oh, do I want to host? Nope. Okay. You know, I'm still asking myself that all the time. As a matter of fact, you know, that editing thing I started talking about at the beginning, I accepted an editing uh, assignment from Access this morning. I mean, talk about funny timing because that's shifted and changed. Do I want to do as much editing as I did before? No. But you know what? This this assignment came across. And they're like, hey, would this be fun for you? I'm like, yeah, actually, it would be fun. And so I'm willing to ask that question. So beginning from failing is actually the place where you start to get clarity of what it is you desire, of you require. What would be fun for you, okay? That point is not mean stop. It at that point actually means what else? So please check it out, okay? And while we're talking about checking things out, check out my website, Danielle.com, and watch the little video I created about shattering the lie of body image. I would love to see all of you. And I do mean see because this new teleseries, Shattering the Lie of Body Image, is going to be a four-part series in a Zoom. What that means is you, or you can call in, you don't have to have video, but what it is is you can video conference in. And so I see you, you see me, and we have a great time. So I'm really looking forward to this four-part series and seeing what we can shift and change about all those places where uh, we're told our body has to be this way to be acceptable. Our body has to look like this, taste like this, feel like this. Anything else is a, is unacceptable, isn't true, or it means you're weak or whatever it is. So please check it out. And make it a Donnell.com, D-O-N-N-I-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Make it a fun week, a happy week. Enjoy your body because it's enjoying you. And you know what? I hope to see you back here next week because guess what? I'll be here next week with you. If you're here, I'll be here. I'll be here anyways. So I hope to see you then. And until then, folks, have fun. Thank you for listening to Right Body For You. 
Danielle will return next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you and your body will join us. Until then, have fun.